Yeah. You look fantastic. You look great. <laughs> That's awesome. They literally, Good for you. Have you like, ever visited Mexico? They sell it. Uh-huh. <laughs> At the port, anywhere touristy, they sell the crap out of that stuff. Yeah. I have a freaking bright blue and gold sombrero at my house that I bought in Mexico. Yeah. You know what's funny, though, is I've never actually seen anyone wear them other than, like, the... Uh, Ponchos? No, the guys that oh. go around playing the... Mariachi bands. Mariachi yeah. bands. Yeah, they're yeah, the I like, the giant, I I like the weird sombreros. giant shoes. Yeah. I think those are funny. Yeah. Those are great. You know, I believe I they have, like, over 900,000 signatures right now for the... The Redskins. Do it. See, it's 90,000 or 900,000. Wow. Really? To bring back the Redskins. Well, the thing. funny so thing funny. is, is the Redskins are, or well, the Commanders are now owned by a whole new group. Uh, the, the old owner is gone. Mm. So, yeah. And they've already said they're going to rename the, the football team next year. See, back to what it was? I think it needs to be I back. I don't know if they're going to name it back because it's underneath new ownership. So they might just try and rebrand all together. Uh-huh. So, so funny. we'll see. What a crazy mixed up world we live in. Yeah, right. But know. one thing's for sure, when you're here, you're not mixed up. Welcome back to Five Square. <laughs> hey yo. Where we keep things concise, rehearsed, intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, you lost him. Whose house did I wander into? I'm hey, wrong sorry, podcast. wrong wrong podcast. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You lost put, us. Put too. on your scary voice. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back to Thank Fives of Crowd. <laughs> Today we speak about the spooky. The spooky. It's That's September, right. September, baby. Gosh, it's on this year. has gone by quick. It's something else. Yeah. Right? Dude, it's going to be snowing before we know oh, it. Oh, gross. In October. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to have to drive my daughter to freaking junior high every day. <laughs> They you know, that's us too. Uh, so my daughter, her ju- junior high is, I don't know how far away from us, but she's not, like, we have to drive her. But my son, who's closer, his elementary school is closer to us, gets a bus. What the heck? Yeah. I'm like, that doesn't I don't, make any I sense, don't understand but. anything. Like, jurisdictions, all that stuff make no sense to me. But this morning was my first time driving her to school. It was her first day of seventh grade today. Yeah, isn't that freaking nuts? Today, school. Yeah. They started school already. My yeah. kids don't start school till Your Wednesday. Started, dude, everyone else I know started yesterday. Yeah, because we're Weaver County. Yeah, my kids don't start school till Wednesday. <laughs> like Our next kids Wednesday. School don't start yeah. till next Wednesday either. Weird. Yeah, yeah every, like all of Davis County is like yesterday. Mm, that's and today. stupid. But False. Next week for us. Oh, that makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> See, none of it makes sense. It really doesn't. There's no rhyme or reason. But, we uh, don't know. But I drive her, so I go. I take her to school. Right? There are just freaking cars upon cars. I'm like, are any of these kids like school bust in here? Like there were so many people dropping kids off. Huh. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's gonna be a mad. I walked to school both ways, uphill, through the, the snow, 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 butt naked, with one leg. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you, that didn't happen. To you? Yeah, no. I did. that didn't happen to me. Yeah. I know. yeah. <laughs> that sounds scary, Cam. It is so scary. You know what else is scary, Austin? What else is scary? These 15 stories that I found on Ranker. And when I say I found, I mean I clicked on the link that Austin sent me. <laughs> but he we're found gonna, them in his inbox. We're going to talk about these super creepy stories from people who live out in the boonies or around the boonies. And uh, we're going to kick off this spooky season right. So let's dive right in. I'm excited. All right. All right. Coming in at number 15. He stumbled upon a crazy man in Italy. (laughs) That's not a place where you find crazy people. That is heaven. Italy? Oh, yeah, dude. Hmm. I'm I'm down to retire there. Let's go. They're all fat and happy. (laughs) Oh, dude. They're not, though. I know. That's what's crazy. They eat a crap ton of pasta. They're not fat. They're at peace. They're happy. They're chill. It's because they got good food, man. You I can't be angry when you're eating good every day. Right, good I food, good water. Mediterranean. Dude, it's great. Yeah, it's, Let's go. They probably, their government probably treats them a lot differently as well. Well, they do now. Let's not get yeah. into that. The, the leader, she's freaking fantastic. That's, Anyways. Unlike ours. Go let's ahead. find out who the crazy person was in Italy. Maybe it was Biden. <laughs> I live by the Adriatic coast of Italy. <laughs> One summer night of 2013, I was with some friends on the beach having a party. When around 1 a.m., okay, I climbed the rocks to find a place to pee. There was a full moon, and I could see very clearly. I'm telling you, heaven. 
<laughs> I walked away from the beach until I saw a small cove, a small sandy bay, invisible from the inland, but easily reachable from the rocks. I thought it was the best spot to relieve my bladder and went there. As I neared, I distinctly saw that there was a man, a fat, very big man. Wait, hold on. You said there's no fat people. I said that. This obviously is not a native Italian. <laughs> Unless he was part of the mafia, because, I mean, they are kind of bigger. <laughs> I didn't say that. If you're in the mafia, I did not say that. <laughs> uh, big, very, on very cash, <laughs> big, big, big on cash, baby. Big on cash. A very big man, a, very, a fat, very big man, redundant, in his 50s, sitting in the sand doing absolutely nothing, his head tucked in his arms. I should have known better, but I moved closer and asked if he needed anything. Thinking he might have been feeling unwell, he raised his bull-like head and started screaming madly to get away from him, lest he killed me by cracking your head on the rocks. Whoa. I scrambled and ran like crazy back to my friends. I turned backwards and I was relieved to find that he wasn't following me. You think he's going to run, bud? <laughs> <laughs> we called the police who came and discovered that he was a mentally ill person who hadn't taken his medication and his family declared missing in the afternoon. They managed to reassure him without resorting to violence and escorted him back to his ha habitation. <laughs> habitation. Not okay. habitation. Okay, habitation. Okay, okay. I was the only, it was the only time I really feared for my life. Okay. Now I see why it's number 15. <laughs> <laughs> Not very scary, bud. You got yelled at I mean, by an uh, yeah, by yelled a man by on fat rocks. guy. You ever been to New York, Scary bud? story turned into a say, rescue mission. That right there explains how nice Italy is. Yeah. For real. Oh, he, he got has, yelled he at. He gets yelled at, and it's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> you wake your man, I'll crash your, crack your head on the rocks. Ah, I'm going to die. <laughs> really, like, he just said, I mean, careful, like, don't slip and crack your head like on that, the rocks. Yeah, it's like that workaholics meme where he's like, I almost died. Yes. This is scary. I mean, when you think about it, though, it's one in the morning, and you ask guy if he needs some help, and he starts yelling and screaming, it's and I'm like, head. I'm gonna crack your head on the rocks. Like that's just a little creepy. Let's start I, with I standing like, up, thing. buddy. <laughs> exactly. The dude was sitting down. The guy, the other guy, was standing up. He had the high ground. Yeah. Don't do it, Anakin. <laughs> I have the high ground. I have the high ground. <laughs> like I said, it's probably a thick accent. He probably said, you'll probably slip and break your head. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> you was, he was trying to help him. Yeah, he's being nice. He's probably American. <laughs> <laughs> that explains the fact. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was gonna say it. The Italian just didn't understand American. <laughs> right. Random barbed wire in the woods caused injuries. This feels like a duh moment. Random barbed wire. You know what though? Okay, before we read this. Start. <laughs> my dad had told me many stories of back. I mean, I don't know if this still goes on, but back when snowmobiling was kind of coming up and, you know, same with dirt biking still to this day, you have people who get, even though it's perfectly legal, you're riding on trails that are totally safe and are marked for ATV use. There are people who still think you're damaging the environment and will totally string up like wire to try and decapitate you while oh, you're riding. Geez. At least that was a Your thing people are a while psychos. back, but... I don't, I don't know, and maybe that's just one of those like horror stories that you hear of, but that weren't really true. But I don't know, man. Dude, Random I, barbed I wire it. in the woods. Okay. Sounds like it could be a thing. Well, as a kid, we had free range of the woods behind my friend's house. It was pretty much the middle of nowhere, and we could go out there for hours and never see another soul. One time, one of the younger kids was ran straight. One of the other, one of the younger kids ran straight into barbed wire and got his whole front cut up because he hadn't been wearing a shirt. Why does he have a redneck accent? <laughs> I feel like it's appropriate, especially <laughs> reading the grammar. the grammar. It was really weird because this was just in the middle of the woods. So why was there barbed wire hung <laughs> at that height a seven-year-old could run into? Isn't all like a pig? <laughs> isn't all barbed wire hung that high to keep animals in? <laughs> yeah, seven-year-old would totally just hit a normal length, like a normal well, that's height. That's a three-year-old, but 
That it's, it that sounds like it was. That's just, like a five year old. I mean, it's usually going. like two or three strings too. It's never just one. And it's all always up to like your nipples. All, yeah, that's where. That's all the, definitely a down seven. arrow. I'm not feeling that one. That one was. That's dumb. stupid. Okay, the, so 40, far almost. Guys, almost don't worry. Happy. We have 13 more. This is where it gets people juicy. clicked up on that. <laughs> yeah, let's it help. It is a little weird. It's in the middle of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> With every. I'm, I'm trying to justify it. You think yeah, I got it. it? It's a random barbed wire in the middle of the woods. There's so well, much how do random barbed random? wire in the middle of the woods. It's old. How do you know that it wasn't some psycho person you, who loves to cut up children? Maybe. Uh, that's true. That is the creepy side of it. I, I mean, we don't okay, know that. Okay, all right. Come on. All right, You're making Dahmer. a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> But how do we know? Is it making mountain out of a molehill? I how am. Do we know, how do we know these hooligans weren't just trespassing? It was in the middle of the woods. I'm just saying. Maybe there was a cabin in the middle of the woods. Somebody owns it. All my mountain shenanigans, there's barbed wire at randomly places where it was old fenced line for free grazing. and Maybe it was a family got run out. Just saying. They left Darla Moo back at the... <laughs> you just this, got that axe. <laughs> this manic neighbor showed up with a shotgun. Wow. I live out in the country. He don't say... There may well, be five there it is. houses. That explains a shotgun. <laughs> on only long, on my long dirt road, last week my neighbor asked if he could come over to talk to us about something. He didn't knock. He just walked right in and had a loaded gun with him. Oh, jeez. He started talking a mile a minute about a war coming to the ro- to our road. Just the road. Just <laughs> <laughs> one road. <laughs> Knowing people who are 300 years old, vampires walking out of the woods, being able to see the Matrix code, etc. <laughs> he had a hospital bracelet on his wrist. Turns out he decided to go off his medication and was in a manic, depressive state. Okay, that's terrifying. That, that, is, terrifying. Terrifying. that is scary. Because you, you got a crazy person not taking his pills. With, with a, a shotgun. shotgun. I also have house. a loaded gun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what do you do? Do You you don't dare go for the phone. Yep. He's going to think you're against Heaven him. Heaven forbid you're eating some watermelon, got a little pink ooze drooling down your face. You're going <laughs> to think you're you a say. vampire. I see the code. It's over there. The Matrix Run. code's behind you. So what, what makes this creepy? The fact that he has a gun? The fact that he walked into their house with saying a loaded there's 300, gun. With a gun, saying there's 300-year-old vampire seeing the Matrix code. Okay. You have I mean, an unhinged person. Wait, well, you don't think this guy's crazy, but you think the barbed wire in the woods <laughs> is some nefarious plot? No, I'm going back to number 15 where you have some psycho on the beach saying, oh. get near me, I'm going to kill you. What's That's not creepy. You, like, can out, is- you can outrun the fat guy. You can't outrun a shotgun shot. I'm just saying it's... <laughs> Kind of the same situation. <laughs> it's not this even it's, a, it's two medically diagnosed crazy people. Bro, <laughs> One just has a shotgun and the other guy doesn't. One has a this shotgun and real. broken entering in your house. <laughs> Plus, this guy is clearly delusional. The other guy on the beach isn't. Yeah, yeah I'm that drunk. How do you know he wasn't delusional? Because <laughs> he said, I'll break your head. This guy's Listen. like, we got to fight a war on your road against the vampires who see Matrix. He didn't code. have a chance to even see if he was delusional because the guy said, come near me. I'm going to break your head on the rocks. Yeah. And the guy took <laughs> off. I met drunk people in the woods. <laughs> yeah, but... They have to get you first. Zach. That guy's already <laughs> got to you. Say this guy, <laughs> bro. What I'm this just guy... saying. There's a lot of similarities. This one does have a one up on it. <laughs> this what? guy goes. What? This guy goes. Ah, vampire! Boom! You're dead. <laughs> You're done. The other guy terrifying. says he's unhinged in your house. How do you With know? a gun. <laughs> the guy's got to get your head first. This guy's got your head. Just saying, how do you know the other guy wasn't Zach, unhinged? Zach apparently has done this in the <laughs> so past. Is that right? <laughs> no. He's Zach arguing is, the, the devil's before. advocate. He didn't like here. that we didn't agree from the argument from before, right? The barbed wire? No. Or not the, the barbed wire. Get the guy, off the damn barbed wire. The, the guy, no, he's asking the guy, about I'm the barbed wire. I'm not on the barbed wire. No, the guy on the beach. Oh, yeah, what? He's just... He's you can just, outrun him. He's, he, I'm just personally saying, one o'clock in the morning, you ask a guy how he is, he starts screaming and yelling yeah, he's that he's going to kill you. That would scare the hell out of me. More okay. than a man walking into your house with a loaded that shotgun? That would scare the hell out of me, too. Then what Here's are we the arguing? Difference. Here's the difference. <laughs> is the guy on the beach, for me, it'd kind of be like a, hey, buddy, you okay? <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, I'm out. All and right, then you're well, gone. It's over. It's enjoy done. your walk. Or this, <laughs> I've got my family, my kids, and I'm standing staring at this guy, and I don't know when the moment's going to be over. Where the guy on the beach is Am I going like, to die? Is ah, someone in my family going to die? I'm gone. You I made the I moment over. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I'm out. 
You it's ended over. the moment. We're here. You're standing there playing, saying like, please, for the love of God, don't think that Brinley is a vampire. Like, mm -hmm. you just don't know. She, Sweetie, she hide your face. she doesn't blink, it's over. <laughs> Sweetie, don't smile. <laughs> <laughs> no, blink your eyes, but not abnormally. <laughs> of all my kids, it's her that could pass. And so I'm like, <laughs> honey, go, she, go in the back room. He just <laughs> looks at her and she's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then he runs away. <laughs> she's got major Wednesday vibes. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! Oh, that's scary. this podcast just became unhinged. <laughs> when was it hinged? <laughs> that's a, it's a record. Oh, it does look like ice cream. Is yeah. that what you're yeah. pointing at? Yeah, exactly. totally. It looked like ice cream. The scent of cologne was like being followed. Hold on, I got to share this part because I totally put my foot in my mouth the other day, and only Tony was there to witness it. Okay. Oh. So I go over to his house. Uh -huh. Sorry, this is totally like left field vomit stuff. <laughs> so I go over to his house to help him move. And I notice down the front of his shirt, he's got all these drops and it leads to his pants. And so in my mind, I, I'm thinking it's food droppings. Oh, yeah. Like, like food dropped. Down. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. So in my head, I'm thinking I, I crack a joke and I say, oh, are you pregnant? Because <laughs> like Points Jess. Points belly. Jess, <laughs> <laughs> well, because that's I pointed at the spot because Jess had dropped food all over herself <laughs> when she was pregnant, and he and I just point to it and I said, "Oh, you're pregnant," and not even registering that he didn't get the joke, and he just thought I called him pregnant, called him fat, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> and to which he replied. I was just like, I know, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> to which he said, it's a glandular problem. Yeah, so I totally stuck my foot in my mouth, but I had to explain myself, and I was really embarrassed. Anyway, I had, had you look up. great. Thanks. You look good. <laughs> you look awesome, bud. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> I used to live in the middle of nowhere. We had one neighbor whose house we couldn't even see through the trees in the hills. On the other side of Sounds us... Sounds like a good neighbor. <laughs> State Farm? <laughs> On the other side of us, <laughs> up another hill, there was a dirt road that was basically went nowhere. At the beginning of the dirt road, there was this old abandoned church, which made it automatically creepy. Anyway, mm -hmm. berries used to grow down this dirt. <laughs> down this dirt road. <laughs> These so are supposed to be scary. I know, right? <laughs> so we'd pick them. On the way back, one day we got an extremely strong scent of cologne. A quick scan didn't show anyone, but every time the wind blew, we got another whiff. Still don't know where the scent was coming from, but it creeped me out big time. You don't think about how no one could hear you scream until you're forced to. <laughs> what? <the> <laughs> what? That was a scary. Grow that up. last sentence was scary. I mean, it was. That was pretty damn creepy, dude. But you don't think on. about how no one can hear you scream until you're forced to? Yeah. What forced them to scream? That's true. I do have to say, like, because did it say their ages or anything like that? No. But, like, let's just assume they're probably younger kids, possibly. Who's to say it isn't some weird pedophile in the wheat, in the oh, bushes? Yeah. Cause you I smell watches. cologne? Because you smell cologne? I don't know. Dude, that might be a natural whispery mahogany. Yeah, right? I also, shout out to user Kelsey. You got the OG name there. For real. Rockstar. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, that takes some that takes some skill. A scorched tree was gone the next day. <laughs> so <laughs> everything just funny enough. <laughs> it just, just sounds so ridiculous. That, yeah, they're not the grit. The titles are pretty weak. They're pretty subpar. Well, okay, we should have set the bar because it's in a, a. Clearly, it's not a very. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This is not, yeah. <laughs> Somebody cut down a tree. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, dare they? The next no, day. The way, the way I took that is the tree itself was completely gone. Like, as if there was never a tree there. That's fine. So they dug it out at the root. <laughs> so I live in a very heavily wooded area. This is a place where the closest town is seven miles away. Sounds and it's like it's only heaven. got about a hundred people in it. Mm. So my family and the few neighbors we have are very secluded. Anyway, when I was about 12-ish, <laughs> I was sitting on my front porch eating mac and cheese because it was a nice day out. <laughs> While I'm eating, I noticed something sort of strange in the woods in front of my house. I had sat on my porch so many times that I was used to how the view looked, so I immediately noticed that the view looked different. 
probably about a hundred feet in front of our house, was a giant black mess. Mass. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought it may be a black bear, <laughs> as they are fairly common here. Being the adventurous kid I was, I went to investigate, because uh-huh. I wanted to find a bear. <laughs> <laughs> as I got close to it, I could see that it was actually a giant burnt black stump, root wad and all. <laughs> root wad? Is that a thing? Yeah, a root wad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It had been totally scorched, so the entire thing was pitch black, and it was massive. He easily weighed 200 pounds. It was strange as we hadn't cut down any tree lately, and we certainly hadn't burned any stumps. I showed my mom, and she was equally as confused as, but just kind of brushed it off. After school the next day, I went to check on it again with my dogs. (laughs) But when I got to the spot, it was gone. A giant 200-pound stump had just vanished, and there was no drag marks or anything. Okay, so you told it is creepy. It finished (laughs) burning. Okay. There's no drag marks Why or anything. Why did you look at me when you said root I ball? Just Is knew, that a real thing? I a root knew. Ball? Is it? <laughs> Out of all of us here, you would be the one who would know the answer. Well, first off, you don't know what it is because it's a root wad. <laughs> or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> root ball, root wad, root same wad. thing. Is it really? Yeah. Root he wad. knows. Root wad. I told you. The second you I asked country. you to, when I asked you, in my head, I was like, he's going to be like, why'd you ask me? <laughs> Because he's racist. <laughs> Was that more geographist? Yeah. <laughs> Ge- geographist. <laughs> Naturist. Naturist. Uh, that is kind of creepy. That, it's more weird than, I don't know. It's odd. Odd. Was there shavings? Did do, 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 I just do, do. like Any people logic. Because you could, people a 200 pound stump, yeah. you couldn't burn it completely to nothing in that amount of time. Without leaving any. In a day? Yes, you can. I you mean, get a drill. You drill in it. Put diesel fuel, and you light that bitch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But know, it says man. like it says there were no marks. There yeah. were no as if drag it was, marks or anything. Like the way I'm taking that, it's he went up like there. Like even it's the black part was, was gone. never there. It's just dirt. Yeah. And it makes me think of some creepy movies where they have like a big black stump, and it's mm. supposed to be this like witch thing and like, like rituals an altar and type. stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, that unhinged guy with the shotgun still by far the scariest. Yeah. Because it's a realistic scary. Oh, yeah. The rest of these, I'm trying to find the creepy. <laughs> they found a little girl's possessions literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's creepy. Ew, gross. Okay. Yeah. When I was about 13 and exploring the woods, I found a pillowcase with a jewelry box, a bunch of cheap kids' jewelry, a couple keychains, a school idea for a girl in fourth grade. What does that mean? And a couple other little girl things. I didn't think much of it at the moment, but a couple of days later, I went back to get it, and it was gone. I still wish I could remember the girl's name or even the school she went to because I have a feeling something horrible happened. I grew up in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas, 10 miles outside of a town that doesn't even have a stoplight, just so you guys have a picture of how rural it was. (laughs) Scariest sound I've ever heard is a mountain lion scream. You can never get used to that sound. Oh, they are creepy. So where was the scary? Um, found a little the, girl's possessions. The pillowcase full of little girl's stuff. That's it? They found it. it was gone. Went back for she later. She came back gone. and got it. Okay. And then uh, mountain lions. Mountain <laughs> cougars. All right. I got a personal story about that. Yeah. <laughs> mountain cougars? No, not mountain lions. Finding cougars. little so, girl's stuff. Oh, I thought you were just going to say cougars. Is it <laughs> your wife? <laughs> <laughs> kitty, kitty. Go home to your children. They're yeah. in college. <laughs> <laughs> tell us, tell us your story. So, I was fly fishing on a river, That's and then there happens. was a culvert. Well, you can do it on the lake too. Okay. So, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Not you, so, Chris. Just all of us. Okay. <laughs> no, you pointed at me. That was towards me, Tony. Okay, so I was fishing, and then there was a there's like a old culvert that had a, a grate over it, and it was it was like a concrete box, right, with the culvert, so water cool run through. And I look in there, and there was like a doll that had been set there, and like a bunch of stuff, like a tea party in this culvert. Gross. And it was weird. It was just an eerie. Feeling. Like, was it? There was no water in it. 
There's no water in it. No, it was dried up. Just a bunch of debris. So it's not like the stuff was washed into no, there. No, it, it was, was like, like set, set It was like set up in there. How do you get into it? Was it easy to get into? I didn't go down in there. <laughs> like, no, I'm saying like, could you see an opening where someone could easily get into it? No, it, it was like cement. Oh, that's gross. Culverts. That's that gross. That went into this like box, like where you could look in, in the area and it was all just dried up. Gross. It was like... Dang. Stuff set up in there. That it was makes weird. me feel like 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 underground people kind of thing. God, I could be number nine. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. They, they heard a blood curdling scream over and over. Wait, real okay. quick. So that the kid stuff reminded me of Thunder Mountain. Did I ever tell you guys about Thunder Mountain? Yeah. Were you dude. with me at Thunder Mountain? I don't remember. You told us about it. So Thunder Mountain is we were on our way to San Francisco, I wanna say. Oh yeah, you told I remember now. And so it's this uh it's this monument area that they, it's like now city owned or something like that. But basically this white man went insane and he decided that he, what? I don't know. You just put so much emphasis on this white well, man. It, it, it makes sense further in the story. Yeah. So a white man, Nevada? I think so. Cause it was on our way to San Francisco, but this, this white man uh, just went crazy in his older age. And I think he was like a veteran and he decided he got like some sort of calling and was to be a uh, Native American. And so he joined like spirit a tribe. Journey. Yeah, he had like a spirit journey and all this stuff. Anyway, he made this giant monument of like crap that he could just find. And it is filled with like doll heads and broken glass and, in and engine bays. And I don't know. It's so creepy, man. Can you make some of those pictures big? I have some pictures. It is, oh. it is by far the eeriest thing mm -hmm. I've ever been to, and we should totally go podcast there. I'd do Dude, it. Let's do it. It is so creepy. I think it closes at night, though. I don't think you're allowed to stay there late at night. Who do so. we need to call? Yeah, right? Maybe we can make a call. I don't know. Is it's, that the guy? It's so creepy. Anyway, long story short, they're in the, in the big building that he's made and you can see all the like monuments of children behind it i think that's the dude that made it it's so creepy man but he, that he looks oh, yeah. native american well he's not that guy looks like he's he seen looks some shit <laughs> yeah, <he does>. right <laughs> well look at this for like, real these little weirdos in the background here like yeah. there's a little head there is a dancing one that is a, eerie that's, we should maybe we should even just cover is this that in a real podcast okay i don't know you know what? we'll cover it in a future podcast maybe for the halloween era like of our like the next month because that has a really creepy ending to it. It's okay. it's super okay. wild. Anyway, we should go there and then cover it. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Oh man, it gives me the creeps just looking at it. I want to go. All right. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. Do you have some porridge? Goodness gracious. Ugh. Ugh. I got. I had the weirdest feeling just walking around oh, that I place. I bet. Just off. Oh, <laughs> dude! During broad daylight, middle of the day, it felt weird. Hmm. So creepy. I'm down. <sighs> they heard a blood curdling scream over and over. That's creepy. My significant other and I lived in a small cabin up in the Appalachian Mountains. Ooh, there's some shit there's that happens weird there. Weird stuff yeah. up there. <laughs> yeah. On an isolated 40 acre plot. <laughs> it was our first weekend in the cabin. Sometimes in the middle of the night, we heard blood a blood curdling scream right outside our window. Not just once, but over and over again for about a minute. Have you oh, uh, gross, uh, dude. That's creepy. I think it, like putting yourself in that scenario, that is terrifying. I immediately think Bigfoot. Yeah, that, that how they do that. Yeah, There's like, that Bigfoot call uh, that's blood curling. Sounds like a woman. Or what <laughs> if it's just goats? <laughs> <laughs> Could be too. Have you seen that weird video <laughs> that's going around Instagram where they like open the door and it's like a goat standing on its hind legs? Just like... She's like standing there and like staring at this girl and she's like, oh, hi. And it flips to another guy. And I think it was uh, Jordan the Stallion. He's like, nope. He's like, bring it in. Bring it. In. Nope. Take it back out. Nope. <laughs> like, he's, just like, <laughs> he's just like, that's safe. Have you seen the video of the, the goat where they made the joke that it's like this goat is leading this chicken, chicken to sacrifice. And it shows this video of this goat walking on its hind legs oh. and it's walking and it walks into its little like uh, shelter corral thing. And uh, it walks in there, and this chicken's just following behind it, and they both go into this thing. And it's but the joke is just that the goat is leading the chicken to sacrifice. You see, like, uh, a but why is the feathers? goat walking on its hind legs? Like it, it was just creepy. I goats can be it. weird, man. Ugh. Goats are just freaks. 
They're the, funny, their though. Their eyes creep me out, dude. Oh, yeah. Their eyes are so creepy. They're like pluses. With the, yeah. Oh, yeah. That it's and just sheep eyes. Slit. The sheep. What's yeah. the ones with the pluses? I swear, I'm, I thought you... I think you're right. It's a slit. I have Is goats. <laughs> I think so. Maybe he's got normal goats. Maybe it's a different goat. Oh, it is a oh, it slit. It is a slit, but I... Oh, oh. Man, they're creepy. Oh, demons. Those things have seen some if shit. You've seen, <laughs> if you've seen plus signs in them, then 100% it's Satan. Mm. <laughs> bah, bah. Oh, there it is. Goat at the door? It's the, f- the first one. Yeah, dude, this little creepy mother effer. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude, he's terrifying. Look at this. She just opens the door. Move your hand. Oh, wait, that's not the one standing. But that one's creepy, too. He's like, hey, uh, you gonna let me in or what? No, thanks. And I don't think that person <laughs> has it's, a goat. It's all, have you heard the good news? <laughs> I've been oh, meaning gross, to reach out look. to you. That's what I'm saying. Did you see it line up? It's not. No, no, no. Go back, like, not even a second at the end. The glass lines up with the goat, and it looks like a devil... Oh, oh. <laughs> gross! <Ew>. Goats are gross. <laughs> Their cheese, pretty good though. Oh yeah, the cheese is great. Ew, I don't like it. Devil cheese. Sounded like a pig squeal right next to them. Quiet boy. Yeah. My grandparents' house is right outside of town. Neighborhood is on the other side, on one side, but on all the other sides, everyone has an acre or two they're sitting on, including my grandparents. So isolated ish. A friend and I were smoking cigarettes. Mm, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> In the large enclosed porch one night, when no when no one was home, and in the complete silence, we heard a really loud pig squeal, like right next to us. It sounded like it was an enclo- in the enclosed area with us. It was so loud. Sure, people have horses and chickens around. I don't think any neighbors own pigs, though. I also don't quite... L- didn't quite it also didn't quite sound like a pig more like a man making a pig noise oh i can't emphasize this enough it was one of the weirdest sounds i've ever heard the scariest thing was how displaced the sound was i mean even if their next door neighbor had a pig it would have been far enough away to be a- <laughs> oh god no. oh god i hate that i saw you motioning i had no idea what it was for but my gosh that was gross <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Someone, oh man! Someone somewhere just threw something. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! <laughs> Again, why me? Because <laughs> <laughs> we know you converse with them. <laughs> uh, they are my people. He's awake. Oh, that was scary. Oh, I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was creepy. Mostly because of you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Read the last sentence. Is there one more sentence? Uh, we bolted inside and locked the door immediately. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 that was good. That was good. Someone started scratching a trailer in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Wait, well, if no one was there, how'd you hear it? Uh, they were in the trailer, maybe? My dad owns a plot of land in south central Illinois. Oh, it consists of crop fields and woods. My dad's nephew, call him T, and his wife, B. <laughs> T and B. I like T and it. B. Live in a trailer next to an auction <laughs> barn they own. One night, B was home alone. Their porch faces the road. They have a street light by the, their circle drive on their ground, not the road. B saw a silhouette walk across the porch, the shadow visible on the door window. She later heard scratching on the screen of the oh window. Oh, my god! She had enough. She grabbed T's handgun and opened the door. There was no car in the circle drive other than her own. She screamed something like, I've got a gun, and I'm not afraid to kill you, mother effa. The scratching stopped. Oh, that that one takes the cake. That's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. That's creepy. Ooh, that one give me chills. Ooh, I don't like that. I man. Don't like that okay. That one and I would say the screaming. Well, the shotgun too. <laughs> man. Oh no, that man on the rocks, real scary. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said something, but I kept it in. I kept it in. <laughs> See? That's the difference between a friend and a best friend. <laughs> right? Wasn't that something? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't remember who shared it. But. Oh, gosh. An Irish stalker followed this child for miles. Ew. Irish? leprechaun? An Irish stalker. Was it Zach? I'm not Irish. 
Yeah, remember? But he's you look German. More he's he's not English. Dutch no, either, he's not Dutch. I'm I'm English. English. He's English. Yeah, he's English. English. Ah, uh, yeah, well, Jesus is English. You're on. <laughs> What's when the I, Irish got to do with anything? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so maybe he was we'll doing a jig the whole time. Ta-ta, ta-ta. That'd go. be pretty creepy. I don't know. I was more of a leprechaun, though. <laughs> when I was young, my grandmother lived in a very rural part of Ireland, and my brother and I were sent to visit her for, for a couple of weeks every summer. Frequently, my grandmother would send us out to do little jobs for her, for her, bring bread or jam to the neighbors, or to collect turf for the fire. One summer's day, she gave me a loaf of bread and sent me to the house about three or four miles away. Jeez, Grandma. The laneway to the house was narrow and lined by thick hedges. And as I was walking, I became aware of a man within the hedges who was watching me and walking the laneway with me. I was extremely frightened and ran the rest of the way. I think the woman of the house knew that something had frightened me. When I arrived, she made me tea and sandwiches and my grandmother's bread with my grandmother's bread and let me stay and play with her dogs until their eldest son got back so he could drive me back to my grandmother's house. Thanks, Mrs. Staunton. I still don't know who it was that was watching and following me or how long they had been doing so before I noticed. Gross. Mm. Jack so what? How do they know Irish? I just want to know. Uh, they're probably in Ireland. They're in Ireland. They have I to guess. be. Yes. So everyone's an Irish stalker if mm. they follow you. Hmm. She woke to fan, find a man watching her from the woods. Ew. Gross. Gross. When I was younger, about five, me and my family lived in a big house that was in the woods. My bedroom was on the first floor, with a window about fifteen feet wide and six feet tall. Jeez. A Huge window? window. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was so oddly large that we could never find curtains or blinds for it. So we had a bare window, which was fine because, like I said, we were in the middle of the woods. That's not fine. No. No, Bigfoot looks right into those windows. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) I woke up in the middle of the night with that feeling of being watched. Oh, gross. No. And I saw a man wearing all black standing at my window watching me. I screamed, and when I screamed, he ran off into the woods. Ew. Oh, gross. Sorry, I read ahead. That Oh, that creeps me out. Oh, I don't like that. Grody. It's my wife's biggest fear, somebody creeping in on the window. Hi, mm-hmm. dude. Oh. I think, I wonder if it's a woman open. thing, because like even my mom, now being in the basement, she, uh, when we were styling the house, we asked her if she wanted an extra window in her bedroom because it comes with one and there was another wall where we could have added another. And she's like, I don't need any more windows than like necessary because she's like, I don't want anyone looking in. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I could creep me up. I think for guys, it's kind of like, hey, if you want to look in, you're going to see something you don't want to see. <laughs> yeah. I feel about Airbnbs. <laughs> like there's a camera. It's your eyes funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I'm gonna make sure I stand, spread, <laughs> spread extra wide while I'm drying. You know what I'm saying? I, will, <laughs> I won't get an Airbnb with cameras inside. That's weird to me. Well, I've that, never the thing is, you don't cameras. know if it has cameras inside. Yeah, they're not allowed they to have, have cameras. They have to disclose it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's that's what's. Because I mean, I've seen videos where people find cameras supposedly. Everything's fake now. We stayed at one with cameras inside everywhere, except like they actually had in like in the corners of like the family room, the Mm -hmm. kitchen, the front room. Oh no, no. Mm. And we uh, we didn't look it too far into the description. And we're like, yeah, we can't. We're never doing this again. So I just I would cover every single one of them stuff in front of the cameras. (laughs) Windmill it. (laughs) Well, I didn't like show my dingaling. Well, guess what? This peeping creep from nowhere came looking for something. Maybe you had had what he wanted. When I lived way out in the middle of nowhere, Australia. (laughs) 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 Nothing but desert outside. Nearest neighbors were about 10 kilometers away. So five miles? In the outback or something. (laughs) Our place was at the end of a long dirt road. Isn't every road dirt at that point? With only our house, no others. So no one came down there unless they were specifically to visit us. Speak it in an Australian accent, please. I was taking a bath one night. Right, stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, enough. I didn't, get, I didn't get very far. I was taking a bath. Look up and see a man's face staring at me. Nope. Nope. Through the window. Freaked the F out. Got out of the bath, robe on, etc. And told significant other 
Who said I probably imagined it? Especially since that window was so high up, no one could reach it from the outside. Ew. House on stumps. I made him go out there, and yeah, someone had gone to our shed, which was a good 500 meters away from the house, got some wooden pallets, stacked them up, and peeped through my window. Oh. If it were a random peeper in any easier accessible location like a suburb, it, would prob- it probably would have weirded me out a little, but then got over it. But the amount of work this guy had to go to makes me remember him to this day and wonder how the heck he got out there with no car. Did he just live on our property or something in the bush somewhere? Ooh, see, that's creepy because he could have been living in the shed or something. Gross. Ooh, that that's... reminds me of that story of the person living in the attic. Yes. Oh, uh, sorry. Or the basements. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah those... gross. <laughs> A hooded stranger appeared in the house. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) Buckshot (laughs) Birdshot. What's that off of? Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. (laughs) Birdshot. (laughs) Pepper him up real nice. What's in a birdshot, buckshot? Birdshot, buckshot, buckshot, birdshot, buckshot, 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 or whatever. (laughs) Reminds me of that Bill Burr when he's like going in to buy a gun, the guy sells him a shotgun. Yeah. He's like, you ain't over here, you should pull the trigger. No more problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. People miss. People miss all the time. That's why you need a shotgun. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I grew up in the middle of the woods in Louisiana. Our closest neighbor is 20 miles away. Our house was on a hill, and at the bottom was a, the creek that went through the woods for miles and miles. My grandfather would always tell us that there were people living in the woods. Crazy inbred folks. On some, the hills have eyes shiz. But I always assumed he was just trying to keep creep Gross. us out. Ugh. I'll believe it, dude. So one night, when I was like eight years old, I sat in the living room wa- watching Pearl Harbor. My father <laughs> comes into the living room and tells me not to move, that he heard footsteps on the back door, sla- on the back door slam shut on his way to the bathroom. He thinks someone was in the house and that he scared them off when he walked down the hallway to the bathroom. So he leaves the house, leaving the front door wide open, which scared the crap out of me. I pause the movie and just listen to the silence for a couple minutes. And of course, the guy is still inside. I'm staring out of the doorway to the living room and I see the top of a head peek around the corner. Ew. A head head with a white sheet over it. Cut and tied around at the neck. I'm paralyzed. I... And even if I wanted to run, there'd be nowhere to go but towards this creepy dude. He just stares at me for the f- what feels like forever before he leaves towards the back of the house. The back door slams again. I just sit there and start crying until my father comes back inside. My dad tells me that he, as he rounded the corner of the ha- to the back of the house, he caught the guy leaving out the back door. The guy sees my dad and books it down the hill. When then there's a gunshot. According to my father, my grandfather had been sitting on the porch next door, saw the guy walking toward our house, so he grabbed his gun, got back outside in time to see the guy running down the hill and shot the dude in the leg. The guy fell, then got back up again before my grandfather could take another shot and disappeared into the woods. By the time the cops showed up, he was he was gone. They search but can't find the guy. They do find a rundown sort of shack a mile or so into the woods filled with nothing but pots and pans. So that was weird. Ugh. So that was weird? That's all you say? That's freaking creepy. That's creepy. Wait, so what was the <clears throat> sheet thing around the his sheet, neck? So uh, basically like, like they Ku had Klux a... Ku Klux Klan. Well, kind of. It was just like a sheet wrapped around the head and then they had a rope around oh, the Oh, okay, okay. So oh. They had holes in the, in the sheet probably. Oh my gosh, that's like the strangers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, dude. Creepy. Okay, see, okay, they're, they're getting better. They're getting a lot better. Okay. Smiling Ooh, face man. in the window 20 feet above ground. Oh, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Cheshire cat. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, definitely. When we first moved in here, I kept thinking I'd hear some walking. I kept thinking I'd hear some wa- someone walking in the house while I was alone. It's a flood zone, so the house is on stilts. And you can hear footsteps when anyone walks across the floor. Of course, this is Texas, so I just grab my handgun and go see if someone was, had come in. Also, my mother-in-law has a key, and when she drops in and leaves things for the family, she sometimes won't relock the door. 
I kept feeling like I was going to walk into the room and someone would be there. Just feeling odd. Watched all day for the few, for a few days. My husband didn't think anything of it. And one night he jumped out of bed, grabbed his handgun, and started going through the house, slamming all the doors wide open. He said he heard banging in the kitchen like someone was going through the pantry. Slamming all the doors wide open. So opening them aggressively? <laughs> yep, basically. <laughs> Okay. He was adamant he had heard someone. Nothing. Door still locked. My niece got home from her, from her grandmother's house and a few nights later asked if she could sleep on a, on a cot in our room. She's a teenager, not a small kid, so I asked her what was wrong. She didn't want to tell us because we wouldn't believe her. Just that she didn't want to be alone. She said she heard banging in the kitchen and when she heard that, or felt like some someone was in the house, she would see a man in the window of her room on on the uh, window of her room. So she basically noped out and came to us. We let her stay, and the next day we were all a little uneasy. My husband, a notorious non-believer in the paranormal, came in looking shaken and said he had closed her door after bringing her laundry into the room, and a man had been smiling at him in the window. The window on the house, the windows on the house are almost 20 feet in the air because of the stilts the house sits on. Gross. Oh my gosh. That one. <sighs> it's giving me chills throughout the whole body. Oh my gosh. That's gross. That one's, that one's leaving me speechless. Okay. Could you imagine? Your house is basically on stilts. <laughs> yeah. Just a, a head. Oh, gross. Nope. Hello. <laughs> you like jams? <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to reach you regarding your car's extended <laughs> window. <laughs> uh, they caught a stranger taking creepy selfies in their home. What? what? This my is number one, by the way. number one. This is the juicy one. We got there. My husband worked nights, so I'd be alone on a huge, on, on a huge acreage. One night, I'd go into the kitchen to make tea. And I look outside to see the moon, and there's a face on the other side of the window. Oh, good hell. That just creeped me out. <laughs> I scream, and it wakes up my aging husky, mm. who starts to howl. Dude bolts. I call the cops and, w and wait forever locked in my pantry. Next day, my husband and I ride on horseback our whole property. We find a small makeshift cabin and in the northwest corner. We find stuff stolen from our laundry line and canned stuff from our kitchen. He had pinned up selfies in the cabin he had taken while in our bed and sitting at our daughter's child-sized dinner table. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's gross. Bro. Oh, man, I couldn't live in that house anymore. Yeah, next yeah. step he'd be wearing their skin. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Put the lotion in the basket. Touch the lotion on oh, its skin or it gets the hose again. Oh, that's, I'll that's tell gross. you what, man. Those stories that involve children anymore hit different. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's dude. 100%. Buckshot! <laughs> so disgusting. I just can't handle it. I can't anymore. See, it's like the, the paranormal creepy is like a fascinating creepy. Like, yeah. I still... It still creeps me the F out, but... Like, it's fascinating. Where this kind of stuff, I'm like, nope, nope, absolutely. it's real. Yeah. yeah. Paranormal, you could be like, what if, what if, oh, that's exciting, what if? And you but always have like, the, it's freaking real. Yeah, you always have yeah. the out, too. Like, ah, oh, it was probably just a reflection or, yeah. you know, maybe the, the face in the window was a reflection of light hitting one of the family portraits or something. Mm -hmm. You can always try and explain it, but that, that is. Well, the violation. But if it's real, they can really die, too. Yeah. 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 True. That's true. True. Buckshot. But you gotta be. But you gotta be ready. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're not ready, oh, that's. Yeah, dude. I guess. I guess for me, it's because it's like, I mean, kind of the point you're trying to make, Austin, is it's like, yeah, they're they're killable, like you can defend against something like that, but it's like that stuff is exists like it is real where well it's real creep yeah yeah, yeah. we're yeah. paranormal Creeps. it's like i believe in it i've witnessed some of it and and it's like it's but at the same time it's so hit and miss and this and that where this kind of stuff could literally happen anywhere at any time yeah you just never know the mind can just snap yeah, yeah. and it's what freaks me out is that 
like the people who do stuff like that, what, like just trying to, what's going through their head? Like what, what happened yeah. to you? And that's life? what's scary. Is yeah. They're so unhinged. You're they're right. so removed from reality yeah. that you can't, you can't do it. Yeah. Your brain is so different from theirs. You cannot even fathom how yeah. they think. Yeah. It's crazy. Sorry. I got to know what the scariest thing to is still yet to be mentioned here. That about? picture that you had up, what's that picture you had up of that man? That one? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is that uh, multimillionaire entrepreneur that infuses himself with his 17-year-old son's blood. What? What? In a quest oh, to stay young forever. What? And some for some reason, he looks worse than he did before. Look at this weirdo. Gross. My son, father, and I completed the world's first multi-generational plasma exchange once divided by the mind, now united by biology. What the fudge? <laughs> okay, that's pretty creepy. I, <laughs> donated a, the son di- donated a liter of blood products to his 70-year-old father. Wait a second, that dude's 70? Okay. Okay. <laughs> eh. That looks he's photoshopped. Still, he's still scary looking. But dang, it's okay. okay I, I, that, wouldn't, I would not have guessed 70. Okay, I wouldn't have guessed 70 either. I would have guessed like 50s. So it's Early working? 50s. Uh, this isn't the first time he's made headlines. Apparently, this guy, first time he's brought his son. Yep, yep. Johnson made his fortune as the founder of Braintree, a web and mobile payment company that acquired Venmo and was later sold to PayPal. He's spending at least $2 million a year chasing the fountain of youth. Gross. Using his 17 year his old newest son. Venture, yeah, his newest venture, Project Blueprint, involves doing everything possible to reverse the aging process. This includes following strict dietary guidelines, a rigid schedule for sleep and exercise, frequent medical exams, and following the advice of a 29 year old doctor who finished medical school right before the pandemic. Oddly specific. I'm just going to say, I don't know what that has to do with anything. That's a creepy That's picture. honestly the probably the creepiest thing here tonight, folks. Yeah, oh, I didn't even let them see the guy. Dang it. I failed on the picture in picture. Ah! There he is. Sorry. I thought I cued you guys in on that. So gross. Okay. Now knowing, you probably would have he's thought. 70, though? Yeah. He, yeah. He, I mean, his, he looks pretty freaking jacked for 70, dude. Right. Dude looks well, super even, like, fit. Even body aside, too. Just... Just looking at his face alone. Mm-hmm. It's a weird picture. But yeah. It's very weird. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of like Looks one of those. Yeah, it, why is his face yellow? The blood of Adrena Crohn's. <laughs> I scroll this, down. Let's see the him the cuddle. The cuddle. I don't like that picture at oh, all. Oh yeah, right there. Oh yeah. But, oh yeah. No. Father said bondage. Do they, why do they have right to be there. shirtless? Bond, bonding. <laughs> <laughs> look at oh, look at look at those cute nails they have. I was waiting for they you to matching, realize they that. They have matching fingernails. <laughs> what? That he's shirtless? What? You missed it. He goes father son bond bondage. I mean bonding. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Anyway, all right, all right, we're moving on. That just that sounds like something out of like a, one of those. Sci-fi movies where right. like well, that looks like future. a sci-fi picture right there. What's yeah. he wearing? He looks like an alien. Yeah, what is that, dude? What was that one movie with Bro. Ethan Hawke? Gattaca. Come Have on. you guys seen that? Isn't that where they like they're genetically enhanced not to age? I have no idea. I have no, I, have no I, I I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember it. I don't know. Yeah. Weird. Anyway, creepy, creepy. Okie dokie. Takes if you all live, times. If you live in a rural part of the world, what's the creepiest what? thing <laughs> you have experienced? Let us know down below. Hashtag yeah. creepy. Make it easy. Yeah, hashtag creepy. That's pretty creepy. Was that Biden? No, that's... D- oh, okay. I guess he also gave his dad some of his blood. Okay. Gross. So it's like three that generations. Three generations? Yep, tri generational. All right. Well, Blood, there you have it. Bloodletting. Blood they've, magic. They've got some weird stuff going on in their basement. You know it. Yeah, if you enjoyed this, make sure you tune in the rest of the month and uh, as well as October because, you know, spooky time. These two creeps right here love to talk the creepy. Whoa. And we'll, we'll, probably, we'll probably be thrown in a nice few couple episodes there. I love creepy things. If there's any specific topics you'd like to. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't speak right now. Mm-hmm. If there's any topics you'd like to us 
to cover its place. Spit it out. You know what I'm he's, trying to he's say. He's scared speechless. Yeah. Top, topics cover you pick. <laughs> <laughs> so we talk, you pick things, go. We try to talk. We try We try our best to talk. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys here next time. Adios. Ciao. Thanks for being part of this crowd.